Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so this picture is the before before picture. This is before I even moved into the house. This is how the previous owner had the bed set up and everything else. So yeah, they had some pretty big furniture in here, pretty bulky, kind of outdated. If you look all the way to the left, there's kind of like this weird, I don't even know what you call it, but it's a really small like closet and you can actually like climb in there and there's a whole like little miniature secret room in there. So they have it kind of, you know, blocked off with the bedding headboard and then they have the dresser to the left and they have it set up to where nothing is blocking like the drapes or the window. So yes, you guys. So this is the before before and this is how it looked when I first moved in. So this is what it looks like completely empty from what I can capture of the room so this is before anything was painted the walls were this like yellowish not even tan girl the tan seemed like it was turning yellow a yellowish type of color and yeah I wasn't feeling it so I believe what did I do first did I paint it white first I think I painted it white and then I colored one wall in accent color I think I did green so yes, as you can see in this picture, I did color the wall green and I don't even think, no, I think I just did the accent color wall green and I didn't do the white walls just yet. I just did the green and I think subconsciously I set up the bed just like I saw it in the picture. But then I was noticing like there's no room in here. Like I really don't feel like there's enough room. So I ended up changing it up and then moving the bed against the wall. And that was the best decision that I ever made for his room. And it just gave his room so much more space to walk around. It's not a huge room to begin with. So he needed that extra space. And that was the number one thing that I did to just kind of open it up. Because the way it's pictured here, the bed was like, as soon as you open the door, the bed is right there. And it was just kind of awkward. So moving the bed was the first step. Okay, so this is what his room looked like after we moved the bed to the other wall and took that green out and just brained it up with some white paint. Now you might be worried and wondering like, why the heck is his bed on the floor with no frame? Well, him and his cousins were jumping on his bed one day and then broke the whole frame. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait until I find the actual bed set that I wanna put in here before just hurrying up and replacing and getting a whole new box spring and all that stuff. So I just went ahead and waited and got the actual, you know, bed set that I'm gonna decorate the room with. But yeah, this is what it's looking like before. It's a hot mess. It's just kind of looking thrown together, just some random things a fan here a chair here his closet was pretty much dirty something happened with his closet door so everything was just out in the open and there was no definite space for anything so I just wanted to kind of get a full view so you guys can kind of see where he was coming from with his room and in my house I don't know why but in every bedroom there's no lights so you have to have like you know a lamp I don't even know why they have light switches in there because there's no socket to put a light bulb in so yeah this is what the before is looking like hey guys I'm getting Trenton's new stuff his old bed Okay, guys, so he has like a mid-century, I would say this would be like maybe cherry wood desk. Oh my gosh, I wanted it to fit good in this space and it fits perfectly. Not too wide and enough for him to put his books and stuff in because next year he, well not next year, next month, he will be in high school, so. Okay, you guys, so this is from Living Spaces, mid-century headboard. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like so far. 
We just threw his old covers back on there. Nothing major until we can, you know, just get the decorative aspect going. So basically I'm gonna replace the covers. We're going to add a rug, some art, you know, replace his desk chair. This is just one that he already had. Add a dresser, because his TV is still on the floor. So either we're gonna put the TV on the dresser or we're gonna put the TV on the wall and mount it there. Probably put it on the wall and then put the dresser here. I wanted to order his dresser from Ikea. However, they weren't doing any deliveries of dressers at the time when I looked on there. So I need to figure out what's gonna go in this area over his desk. Also, I feel like he probably is gonna need some more storage options. So I might put that on this side. So it's looking pretty plain right now, but we are so happy because I love this bed. It's nice, it's a perfect size for his room. And yeah, you guys, this is what it's looking like so far in the process. Okay guys, so I couldn't get any footage of this being put together, but I just wanted to just come in here really quick and let you guys know how happy I am. Oh my gosh, my baby's room is coming together. I feel like I'm even more happier than he is. So uh, what we did was we put the TV on the wall and here, these are like some little straps to help you to, you know, remove it or unmount it from the wall. I'm gonna go ahead and tape those up so that you don't see it. The rest of the cords are concealed by this like cable concealer. So yeah, we have his TV up. And then behind, you can probably see like some lights going off and stuff like that. He has it on like the multi-light function so that it is strobing at all times, but you can put it at solid colors and just leave it as is. But you know boys so he's doing his own little thing but it's just a led light kit that i got off of amazon and when i got the tv installed and put on the wall i just asked the guy if he can put the lights around as well so yeah i'm happy about that i feel like that it gives it a little bit of a flair for you know just the fact that you know it's the boys room and, and playing video games and stuff like that okay so the next thing here is his dresser which is actually really really tall i got this from ikea i think this is called the nordali dresser and i really liked it because it's simple it's minimalist and it has like a masculine flair to it a lot of the other dressers i saw and the knobs on it and everything else it just seemed really feminine i think it's appropriate for his size room and it's also really really tall it's almost like a mix between a chest and a dresser at the same time so anyway i feel like i'm talking too much but this is just a little brief something because i wasn't able to show it being put together just so you guys know where we are you know with this process but i think all of the big items that i wanted to do is pretty much done um, the only other thing is his closet dresser I mean, is his closet doors because they are broke it came off of the like the track so i want to get that fixed and get those painted and then we'll just be putting the finishing touches like new bedding and everything of that sort and then we'll do the full room tour but yes you guys this made all of the difference such a big difference and it's just so i love it so much and i'll get into everything like that's going to be on his dresser and everything later on when we do the full you know reveal okay you guys so the paint guy is here so i'm gonna be really brief but this is what his closet looks like all of the outside walls were painted i think with like a dun edwards white paint but all of the interior like closets i just left because it was just cheaper and i was like oh i could paint it myself later later came girl and i never did so this is the original paint that was there when i bought the house and y'all it's dirty back there we just put clothes in and really didn't do anything else replace the flooring but the inside of the closet is still pretty much the same color and then the roller or the roller on the closet door track kind of got bent up so his closet has just been open he hasn't had his closet doors in forever so he just kind of keeps it neat in there so what we're gonna do is paint it white on the inside and then his closet doors i'm going to paint black 
and yeah that's pretty much what the vibe is going to be i don't know if i'm going to show that in like another video the whole thing but i'm just kind of showing you right now before what's going on i asked you guys maybe i'll show you a little something once he's finished <laughs> Okay, you guys, so here is the finished painted closet. And oh my God, what a difference a coat of black paint made. I think that I'm probably most excited about this part of the room. I mean, I'm excited about the whole thing, but I think that he went without a closet for so long and just having it open and being able to see all his clothes in there. And if he didn't have any, everything, you know, folded to perfection, you could just, it just made the room in its entirety look unclean and unneat. So just the fact that he has closet doors on there, period, as he should, I'm just happy about that. But I think that that black, I feel like it just modernized the whole closet. I love it, love it, love it so much. And then painting the black bar, I just really love this whole part of the makeover so much for him. Again, just because it covers everything and I just think that it looks a lot more modern. I love this little pop of black in his room. Okay, you guys, I do not know the last time I recorded in Trent's room. So I'm just gonna start from here. Believe it or not, he's been having the same blind since we moved in here. So we're gonna replace the blinds and put up the drapes today. And these are the old blinds, the new blinds here and everything else I got. I just got some like textured white drapes from I believe Amazon. I'll be sure to link everything down below for you guys. And yeah, you guys see how dusty, old and like colored from the sun that these are. So yeah, definitely going to be changing those out to a bright light. So yes, you guys, we're about to get started. Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like. Now I'm so happy because it's starting to make it look a little more cozy in here. Right now, I can't get the full just yet because I want to steam the, you know, just the wrinkles out and stuff just so that it's flowy. But I love how heavy duty these are. They have a really good texture to them. And the person that installed them, he did a really good job. I told him that I wanted, to, wanted it to just be grazing the floor and he did a really, really good job. Now these are 95 inches. This room has a very, very high ceiling. I think this is the highest ceiling in the house uh, or maybe my bedroom and his bedroom has high ceilings like this because these are 95 inches. I think the standard are 88 and yeah there's still a little bit of room at the top of the ceiling but yes you guys i like it so far yeah another thing down a million things to go <laughs> And he has this wall where his computer is at. And instead of putting art here, he's really, really into music. Like he loves music. Like he will be in here and I'm thinking he's watching Netflix or something like that. And he just has his music playing and he's just relaxing. Like he loves music. So I wanna do something music related to this wall just so that it is not playing here. So I ended up finding this music collage kit off of Amazon and it has all of these different album covers on it, like um, pictures of album covers. And it just really looks cute and teenage-like. And I ran it by him and he absolutely loved the idea. So I'm gonna try to put this up while he's away. He's staying with family for a couple weeks. So yeah, I'm hoping that I could finish his whole room and surprise him for when he comes back. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that, but at least I'm gonna be working on some things while he is away. Let me show you a couple of them that's inside of here. So I don't know all these people, but they have them in, you know, I know Tupac, come on now. 
now. Um, but yeah, they just have like popular album covers. And yeah, I just thought it was like really cute, eclectic, and perfect for a teenage boy's room. So, I mean, I'm not gonna put any specific ones up. I'm just gonna go and go ahead and put them up in the pack as I see fit. So yes, you guys, I'm gonna show you a couple of clips of me getting that together. Okay, you guys, so this is what I've been able to complete so far. It's almost going on eight now. I think it's like 7.40 and y'all, I am sweating. I mean, it doesn't seem like as much, but it is, you know, kind of time consuming. It's probably been, I don't know, maybe close to an hour or 45 minutes, something like that. But I really like how it's coming out so far. It's just bringing some color and life into his room and it matches his personality. So I know that when he sees it, he's gonna love it. And it's something that is fairly easy and affordable to do. So yeah, if you guys have a teen or just a music lover in the house, definitely consider using these. I'll um, be sure to link everything down below. Okay, you guys, so this part of the room makeover, I'm gonna try to put up a picture of Trent. I was gonna use these for the living room, but this is the Ripa 61 by 91, which is basically 24 by 36 frame that I got from Ikea. And I just went ahead and the inside portion of this without the mat is 19 by 27 and a half, I believe. And then the whole frame, if we took off the mat, then it's 24 by 36. So I went ahead and got this picture printed of him from the wedding. And this is a 20 by 30. So I'm hoping that it'll fit in this middle portion and then we can keep the mat and that it looks nice, okay? So I've had this Ikea frame for a I don't know, a long time now. And I have to use it for what it was supposed to be used for. So I'm like, okay, let me repurpose it and use it for his room. And I want to say that I only paid either $19.99 or $24.99 for this pack. And I had got much cheaper put together ones that was just cheap that cost more than this. So this is a really good quality frame for the size of it. So definitely need to look into that. And let's go ahead and get this picture inside of it. Okay guys, so everything fit in there perfectly and I'm so happy because I thought to get like a print this size, it would be really, really expensive, but I was able to get this printed, the 20 by 30 at Walgreens. And I think the price for this was $24.99 regular price. But you know with Walgreens photo, you can find a lot of discount codes. One discount like engine type of thing that I have installed, or I don't know if I'm gonna say engine, but a like a coupon thing that finds coupons is something called Qpert and it's an extension that's installed so it'll find certain coupon codes for you so I found a 50% off coupon for me and I only paid $12.49 or something plus tax and then also Walgreens had a promotion 50% off as well so I could use the Walgreens promotion that was on the website for 50% off too so that is a great, great price. I have a second one here. I'm thinking I'm gonna put two up. And then the second one, I don't know if I'm gonna use like another picture or if I'm gonna do like a word phrase or something. Maybe I'll create it myself in Canva and then get it printed out 
And yeah, you guys, that'll be it. Very, very nice. Pum baby looking handsome at the wedding. Got his little velvet suit jacket on and whatnot. So yes, you guys, so that is it. Okay, you guys, so here is the finished made bed. And y'all, oh my gosh, it came out exactly the way that I wanted it to. It looks so nice and his favorite color is green. So I am so happy that I was able to find this throw blanket and then also the throw pillows to just incorporate his favorite color. This bed spread, oh my gosh, it is great quality i actually feel like i should have this for my own bed it has like this textured type of pleating to it which i really really like and it's nice and thick the sheets were good quality the fitted sheet the flat sheet all of it was great great quality the only thing i feel like the pillows might be a little too frilly for him i'm not sure like i said i feel like it might look a little bit better on my bed but overall oh my gosh i love this i just hope that he can keep it clean because you know how boys are okay so yeah you guys i'm so excited and that pretty much sums up this room makeover i'm gonna give you guys a full you know view of everything um the only thing i didn't put in here was his gaming chair because that's what i think that he'll be most surprised about trent is the type that is probably going to be the album wall and it's probably going to be the gaming chair everything else he's gonna be like mm-hmm <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Maybe if I can set up the camera somehow, I'll try to see if I can get his reaction. But I'm suspecting that he's going to be happy about the the album wall and the chair. All this decor stuff, he's going to be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> so we shall see. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have, you know, this room pretty much like 90% completed. The only thing is that he does have a little empty space here. And I was thinking about putting something small here. I don't wanna overwhelm this space because I want him to have some room to, you know, walk around and feel like he has some space in here. So I might just leave that empty because if he has friends over or something, they can put a little chair there to play video games and all of that stuff. And I feel like if it's a table or something there, it might get in the way. So maybe it is good to leave a little extra space. But yes, you guys, I'm very happy about this. Let me remind you guys what this space looked like before and then we'll go ahead and get into the after. So here is the before. Trent just got home. Let's see if I can catch his reaction. 
Okay, you guys, he just got home. He has not seen anything yet. So he just woke up, he slept in the car. So I'm just, hopefully, I ran up the stairs, y'all, to set up the camera real quick. But let's see if he gives the reaction. Thank you. 